As the Puritans of New England expanded into Native American lands, tensions mounted between settlers and the Indians. This friction eventually exploded into the Pequot War of 1637. The English really wanted to dominate this land, and they wanted to settle the land with their own people and displace the Native Americans. When colonists built fences on Indian land and started to compete for the same game, Indians became infuriated. And the colonists became enraged when Indians resisted their attempts to convert them to Christianity. Hostility increased as both sides competed for trading relationships with the Dutch. And finally, the Pequots attacked. Tensions broke out into a Pequot raid on English settlements in Connecticut. This gave the English an excuse to then put together an expedition to attack the Pequot settlements. The English allied themselves with the Pequot's neighboring Indian enemies, including the Narragansetts of Rhode Island and the Mohicans of Connecticut. The Pequots were starting to lose their power and their influence. The English torched Pequot villages, savagely burning hundreds of Indians to death. By the end of the Pequot War, the tribe was nearly annihilated. It was such a brutal and catastrophic war that even the Pequot enemies who had allied themselves with the colonists were stunned by the savagery. This was quite a shock to the native allies of the English who were not used to waging war in such a lethal and devastating manner. Their tendency would be to capture these peoples, take them back home as captives, often to intermarry into their families or to work as servants and even possibly slaves for them, but certainly not to slaughter so many people and certainly not to slaughter so many women and children. 